How do you turn this into this? Converting percentages into fractions, pag-usapan natin yan today. Hi everyone, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome to Team Laika, where we try to help you prepare for your next exam. And itong topic na ito ay hindi pa natin cover in other videos at dahil nire-request ninyo, pag-usapan natin today. But we do have other videos on other topics related to this. Kaya kung gusto niyo panoorin, uh, i-link ko na lang din sila sa baba at saka dito sa taas. Okay? Now, let's dive right into it. Let's start with this question. Sabi, what is 11% in fraction form? Now, yung percent, one thing we have to remember is that ang percent or per sa bawat cent, now yung cent, yan ay prefix ng maraming mga salitang familiar tayo with. So we have centavo, centennial, century, ang century 100 years, ang centennial 100 year celebration, ang centavo 100 cents is 1 peso, so ang cent means 100. Kaya pag 11%, 11 per 100 or 11 sa bawat 100. Pwede natin siya isulat as 11 over 100. Now, this is 11%. Now, paano naman kung 1.1%? Now, following the same principle, ang 1.1% will be 1.1 over 100. Pero one of the rules natin when it comes to writing fractions is that walang decimal sa taas. Dahil doon, para matanggal yung decimal na yan, imumove natin siya ng one place to the right, which means imumove din natin yung nasa ilalim ng one per place to the right, magiging 1,000 siya. Now, ano tong moving to the right na yan? Yan ay basically multiplying both yung nasa taas at nasa baba by 10. Kasi ang 1.1 times 10 is 11, at ang 100 times 10 ay 1,000. So, ibig sabihin nun, yung 1.1% is 11 over 1,000. Let's take it another step further. Paano naman kung ang hinahanap ay 0.11%? Anong gagawin natin dyan? Again, following yung percent na idea, ang 0.11% is 0.11 over 100. Now, again, ayaw natin ng decimal sa taas. So, we'll just move the decimal place, 1, 2, two spots or two places to the right, which means we'll multiply this with 100 then. We'll move natin twice to the right. And our answer becomes 11 over 10,000. Okay? So again, percent per 100. Paano naman kung ganito? What is 32% in fraction form? This time, you 32% is 32 over 100 at dahil pareho silang even, pareho silang divisible sa isang number, hindi pa siya naka lowest terms. Yun ang gagawin natin next. Now, kung hindi kayo familiar doon sa proseso ng getting the lowest term or transforming fractions, ililink ko na lang din siya dito. When it comes to getting the lowest terms, mas simple if you start with something small, lalo na kung nag -e exam ka. Kasi hindi mo naman kailangan kunin agad yung greatest common factor. Importante lang, willing ka na ulitin yung proseso ng paulit-ulit. Hanggang maubos mo siya or mapalit mo siya ng todo. Kaya nga lowest term siyang tawag. So, 32, pwede mo siya i-divide sa 2. Gagawin din natin sa nasa ilalim. 32 divided by 2 is 16 over 100 divided by 2 which is 50. Pareho pa rin silang even. Divide ulit natin sila sa 2. This will give us 8 over and i-divide lang natin siya sa 2. This is 25. Now, the question would be, may pwede pa ba akong gawin dyan? Ang 8, divisible pa, siya, pa rin siya sa 2, 25 hindi na. So, tapos na tayo dyan. This becomes our final answer, 8 over 25. So, again, two questions. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng percent? At kung lowest terms na siya. Madali lang if alam niyo yung gagawin. So, it's time for your quick quiz. And if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now.
Let's start with the first question, 38%. So again, we're going to do the same thing again natin kanina. 38 over 100 percent per 100. Now, pwede pa ba natin siyang paliitin? Yes, divisible sila sa 2 pareho. So let me just divide this by 2. And lalabas yung 19 over 50. Now, the question would be, pwede pa ba akong gawin dito? Divisible pa ba siya sa kahit anong common number? The answer would be no. So, yan na yung final answer niya din. Next, we have 92% or 92 over 100. Let's divide this by 4. Okay, so again, pwedeng 2. Pwedeng 4. Let's try kung 4 lang. So, here you have 23 over 25. Now, again, may pwede pa ba akong gawin? Wala na, so we'll leave it at that. Now, kung ang ginawa ninyo ay i-divide sila by 2, and then you get 46 over 50, you can divide that by 2 again to get 23 over 25. Pareho pa rin tayo sa final answer. Okay? Next, we have 22. So, 22 over 100. Pareho silang even, which means I can divide both of them by 2. And makukuha natin ay 11 over 50. Wala na tayong pwedeng gawin dyan. No terms na yan. So, we'll leave it at that. Next, we have 65% or 65 over 100. Pwede siyang divide pareho sa 5. Kasi ang last digit niya ay 5 and 0. So, that's one of the reasons bakit importante yung factoring. Again, may series tayo niyan. Nilingko na lang din sa taas ha. So, 65 divided by 5 is going to give us 13 over 100 divided by 5, which is 20. Wala na tayong kailangan gawin dyan. Tapos na yan. And that's that. So again, ito yung mga sagot natin. I hope you got all of them correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. You can try again naman next time. And if you don't want to miss our new videos, dahil kukumpletuhin natin tong math series natin, and we have more lessons coming up, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon para ma-notify kayo kapag may mga bago tayong upload, okay? If you're watching this kasi magtatake kayo ng test, one way of supporting this channel is getting the reviewers that we made. So if you're interested, and again, kung may budget lang naman, kung walang budget, you can start with all the free content. Pero kung may budget kayo, you can go ahead and message us sa m.me slash teamnaika to get your very own version nito mga review verse natin. We have the workbook and the practice test booklets. Booklets kasi itong book na to ay katumbas niya for books. And all of the questions have their own explainer videos that you can watch to pick up on um, the concepts and the speed math techniques at iba pa, at tricks that I have na I don't post on public. Alright, so uh, thank you for watching and share this with your friends. Baka may matulungan pa tayo. At uh, yan muna for now, as you always say sa channel na to, never stop learning. Adja, adja. Kainian, I'll see you on my next video and bye for now.